We create dream escapes and fantasies for people. You have a confined block that you have to work with. Every inch counts. Most clients want us to make a space that is completely unusable usable again. They're paying for us to give them a piece of paradise in the sky. My name is Sean Kelly and I'm the owner of Reveal Design. I'm a builder and general contractor. And I'm Taylor Palmer and I'm in charge of design. Every client wants a lounge, they want a kitchen, they want a waterfall, they want a playground. It makes it challenging. We can literally do anything you want. We are the best. Buckton's just really a great neighborhood. It's blown up. I know. I'm really excited to see this house and meet this client. Yeah. Michael and I have been married for four years. We have two children, two dogs. And a cat. And a cat. Yes. We have a full house. We recently moved to Chicago. We felt a little kind of congested here in the city. We have a three-car garage that we're hoping to build on top of in order to get that space that we really miss. Gorgeous entrance, huh? Knock back. Hello. Oh <laughs> Tell us what you guys are looking for and how we can help you. You know, I want something that is like I can enjoy all summer into the fall, but not something where I have to like constantly maintain this thing. It takes a little bit of the fun out of sure. it. Sure. Is there anything you need to have up there? TV. <laughs> he wants a really big TV. Your style's clean. Do you want color in there? I love a pop of color. And then for the decking, it's obviously a rooftop before it's an entertaining space in the deck. So we're going to push a modular system. I love it. Got it. We are looking to have this done by Thanksgiving. Are you guys worried about the weather? As long as we don't have three feet of snow, we can build it. We'll put all these ideas together and we'll give you guys a design so you can look awesome. it through. Thank you so much. Stuff. Sounds good to me. We're excited. Oh, nice. Wow. A lot of times we get to a rooftop and we have to put walls up immediately and we already have some nice tall walls to deal with. This roof was built the right way. You have the right pitch on there and then they rated it 100 pounds per square foot. You look at the garage and the structure, this is meant to hold an entertaining area. I'm thinking of a huge sectional over here, maybe an awesome fire table. I see a good sized bar. Yeah, right here, just the whole span of the wall. Yeah. I think we have to have a grill up here. I want a big dining table. All right, this location calls out for a pergola. What if we did something like a white pergola? Kind of go from wall to wall. That's a huge structure, so when you come up, it's this grand entrance. So I definitely think we need to do something about these. You don't want to look at wires? We're going to have the typical rooftop challenges. I'm blocking the unwanted views. This is a perfect system where we just have to do a modular tile. Yep. Put it on pedestals. They can pick it up and maintain anything. They can clean out the scuppers when they need to in the fall. See, it's already collecting debris, but it's a perfect setting for using that high-end decking system. I'm wondering if we do some sort of washed wood ceramic tile. And I think they need a big TV right I here. I knew you were going to say that. Get a few colors on the palette and look great. Let's wow them. This sounds awesome. Day one, we are laying out the pergola. What we're gonna be doing today is bringing the solid posts up. We have a lot of weight on this rooftop. When we do pergola and wall elements, we tie into the structure of the wall. Say bolt in, we go into the bricks and stay off the rooftop completely. The walls are supported for thousands of pounds. So we just make sure all of our weight is off the rooftop, we don't damage the rooftop, and the rooftop can easily be maintained if we ever need to in the future. It all starts to come together at this point. The slats are actually two by fours. What we did is turn those two by fours and you're only seeing that two inch side and that gives it a really straight, clean line. It looks like wood. It's got the faux wood grain press on it. This is actually recycled food grade milk cartons. So it doesn't leach any chemicals. It also allows us to get a lot of different size and shapes to put a pergola like this together. Oh boy, is it. Holy yeah. cow, that looks awesome. This is the first time I've seen the entire pergola put together. It's amazing. I knew it was going to be good, but this is just great. We're really excited to be out here right now, but we are checking the weather. It's, it's a little touch and go. And you can see the leaves are falling right now. So the cold weather's coming, and we would like to beat that cold weather to get this entire deck installed. Today, we're going to get a good start on laying this pedestal system. You actually put individual pedestals in here. We're going to get this laid out, and we level this. It looks simple, but this is pretty time consuming because they need to get this perfectly level and they need to line up the pedestals where all of these interlock together. Before you even see this pretty stone going down, you're gonna see a whole layer of the plastic. 
The modular aspect allows us to be able to have a finished looking deck, but complete flexibility in the end. So this is a system called E-Base Mirage. Instead of traditional pedestals sitting at four corners, this creates a more structural full webbing underneath the system. They're gonna build a complete subfloor of this high density plastic webbing. And on top of that, we'll sit the Mirage Evo. The advantage here is a completely level living space. Meanwhile, water still has a place to go. It's still draining properly. I think it's gonna look really beautiful. This is our favorite part. Once you get the decking down, that's when it becomes a real livable space. Everything else is just little details here and there. And what you want to actually do is line up where the existing corners are. Should I tell you now that the tiles turn the wrong direction or after it's installed the whole way? Let's <laughs> just playing around. There we go. Could have so done two of those by now, but it's all right. We could take our time and get it right. All right, let's see how you do it. But as Taylor said, you line up the wood grain. There we go. Stable, ready for the next tile. I'm loving how it's turning out. I love the new system. Color of the tile came after we decided to go with the white pergola. We wanted something to complement it, but we also wanted something that wasn't going to overpower the architectural interest of the white pergola, which I think is the main feature on this roof deck. Obviously in the city, you can never have full privacy, but it's always implied privacy. The key is blocking views, letting light in, and making people feel like they still want to be outside. We're hiding a lot of these cable wires that are all here, the posts, and then the alley. I think it's important doing design outside that we make it still feel like we're outdoors. The idea here was to keep it contemporary with these frost and glass and then the Ipe wood to wrap around that lounge and living space that gives you the warmest feel, those wood tones, so that was kind of the whole thought behind it. We have stainless steel clips holding up the panels. We have all the Ipe panels screwed in. No matter how fierce the wind, it's not moving. So Chicago winters, it's gonna hold up. Thankfully, we've gotten over the rain, but our major concern is the weather. Snow will be here any day, so we've actually doubled the manpower. We're gonna try to get this done as soon as possible. It's gotten about 20 degrees colder. We just finished the frame of the bar. So now we are gonna start cladding it with Ipe. This wood comes from South America. It's a Brazilian hardwood. It takes a lot more labor than softer wood like cedar. And so we'll pre-drill the holes in here. And then once we do that, we put it up there and we'll be cladding it all. I like to actually mark my holes. It makes it a lot easier for me. So then you're gonna put sprue right in the hole. And as you see, they've actually already made uh, a space for the head. All right, we're putting in our last piece of VPA. We'll be ready to go. Done. Taylor did a great job of finishing up the bar and the Ipe installation, the cladding over here. So we're gonna put in the drawers, we're gonna install the grill and the fridge. The client said they want to grill outside. This Twin Eagles grill we're gonna be installing is the best of the best. The finish is stainless steel on the grill and it matches the cabinetry. It looks great. I think the client's gonna be ecstatic. A lot of people will put Ipe on buildings now and you see they just use regular galvanized fasteners and you, you get these bleed marks as the, the dense oil the Ipe reacts with the fasteners and it just looks awful. So you really gotta use stainless steel screws. That's how I gotta make sure this fits tightly, opens and closes with good clearance. All right, moment of truth. There we go, it's in. What we have left to do is planting. I know, crazy in this weather, but we can still do it. We have planter boxes that are gonna be going in. We have to finish up the irrigation, lighting, and obviously the countertop. Obviously didn't get the weather we wanted, it snowed, and we had to wait for it to stop snowing so we can actually get some plants today. We're at the nursery. We are looking for ones that have good form, a little bit of variation. Shrubs are looking a little rough. Took a beating from the storm, but we can find some good ones here. Even in this weather, a plant can still look good, so we have some evergreen boxwoods we're gonna be selecting today. These guys look good. They look pretty happy and healthy. Well, this is what we're selling to the client. It's something that's green all year round. It has some good structure. Be a great textile interest, yep. All right, let's get them cool. tagged up. I've always loved DPA planter boxes. I love that we can customize them. I think with the 1x4, the capping looks looks perfect on these, and I think it really finishes it off. They'll clean up nicely when we're down here. What do you think of these lights? We're putting them in on the Ipe, on the pergola. I actually love how they look, and it gives a really nice contrast. Where are we running the wires? They'll actually clip through like this, and then okay. they'll be clipped to the back of the Ipe so you won't see anything here. Okay, great. It looks obnoxious now, but they'll be fully hidden. Great. Lights will go up top, wires will go across, and then we'll tie it in so you're never looking at them. Perfect. 
outdoor lighting is expensive, so a lot of clients end up phasing their lighting in. And then also we want LED, so even when it's left on, it's a low draw on the electric line. And uh, as Taylor said, we did it all at once here, so it's going to be quite the reveal. Heaters feel nice. We can leave these on all day. I'll be happy yeah. with that. Today's the day uh, that we're going to showing off the deck. It's going to be the first reveal, and um, we're pretty excited. Yeah, we're excited but nervous to see how they react when they come up here. Yeah. Are you guys ready to see your rooftop deck? Let's go. Here we go. Oh my god. You guys, this is amazing. I couldn't have even imagined a deck so beautiful. Taylor and Sean hit everything that we possibly could have wanted. They did an amazing job with the pergola. Taylor's idea to make it white actually expanded the space. The bar area, I can't believe they custom made that with Ipe Wood. And the grill has been the best gift that I've gotten in years. The floor is amazing. They went personally and picked out all the flora and fauna for this deck, and it goes perfectly. I've waited a long time for outdoor TV. This is a dream come true for me. It's like we gained a whole other part of our house for our family to enjoy. I could bring my kids up here, they can go crazy and it's safe. I am so grateful and so happy. It's been life changing. It's a real treat. I'm grateful that we have this space. It was a great reaction. I didn't expect that big of a wow, but they seemed pretty pleased by it. I think we surprised yeah. them. We gave them everything they wanted and uh, tried to blow them away, and I think that's what, what happened when they saw it. I think we did it. On to the next job, Taylor. Nice. Well done. Nice.